welcome to the channel today we'll be talking about web view custom error so if you are you have a a browser app you have a browser app or you have an app which loads a url and you want to show a custom error maybe you want to let them reload the page inside the error you want to let them reload the website or as the case may be so let me show us the practical know how of what i'm saying for instance i enter a, a, a website google.com if we search it it will load so let me enter a website that doesn't even exist i don't think it exists so instead of showing the default it will show us our normal error we show our own custom error or if the user search with internet no no internet access it will show this custom error so when they run the data they can just click on this reload button to reload so it has reloaded so we're going to do it in sketchware so the first thing you do is you add you add a linear a linear a linear so i'm going to first add a linear a linear two so the orientation should be vertical then you add your web view you add your web view widget you add your web view then you can use edit text or search view to search for this to for users will be able to input the URL so the review will be wrap match parents then you click on main.xml custom view add a custom view any name you put make sure you remember it can put any name so I put so I put my name as error underscore custom this project will be available on sketchly error underscore view so you add this this event you come click on view click on this far button you add both on page started and on page finish on page started this is the code you add so we're going to remove all view that's we're going to remove our custom view this this happens when there is no there is no error when the website is 100 percent accessible so we're going to remove our custom view with that code you put it will be on sketchly then on page finish so we add this this code with our custom we create a, a view called custom underscore view in this view is going to add a view form we're going to inflate our layout our layout file mine was error underscore custom view error underscore view you can put yours as anything so i'm defining both text view one my text view two sorry my text view two i'm defining it and i'm also defining my button so any 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 view you are going to carry out action you are going to you must make sure you define it so if you are not going to set on click listing now you're not going to use any code in the view you don't need to define the view so we need to define our view whenever we need to carry out action on it so this code so when button one is clicked we are setting a click it should reload so when this button is clicked when there is an error response when the button is clicked uh -huh, we click on this button to reload just the way chrome does it other browser so we are going to remove the rep view here we remove all views of linear one and added our custom underscore view custom underscore view holds our custom layout file which is error so we inflated it using this code so like i say because i'm working on only this i'm working on only that and build buttons so that's why i define them any view you will not 
if you know i didn't define my email view and this please subscribe which i actually want you to subscribe so i didn't i didn't define this sorry i didn't define this and i didn't define my email view because i'm not going to work on it so any view you are going to work on you need to define it for instance if you are going to change the background color change the text on the text view set on click listener set on touch listener or as the case may be you need to define it in your java class or your activity so that is it thank you please subscribe project will be in the in the description thank you